today we're going to look at fractions greater than one using fraction cubes and part whole models. We're going to start by looking at a fraction that's just bigger than one. If we look at what fraction is being shown here, we can see that our rectangles are split into fifths. So we are going to need our fraction cubes which are split into fifths. And if we count the fifths, we can see that they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 shaded in. There are 8 parts shaded in, so I have taken 8 fifth cubes. Which means the picture is showing eight fifths all together. We can see this looks a bit strange as the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Any fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator is called an improper fraction. We now want to work out what this is as a mixed number fraction. A mixed number fraction is a whole number and a fraction part. If we look at our fraction cubes, we want to know how many holes there are. There are five fifths in one hole, so I'm going to break off five of the cubes. We have three cubes left, meaning we have one hole and three fifths. We can show this as a diagram using a part hole model. Here we can see that there are eight fifths all together. So 8 fifths equals 1 whole and 3 fifths. We're going to look at another fraction greater than 1. We can see that here that our rectangles are split into 7 equal parts or 7 There are 7, 7, 14, 21, 22, 23, 24 sevenths all together. From our part whole model we can see we have 24 sevenths all together. 24 sevenths are 3 holes and 3 sevenths. Why don't you pause the video and have a go at some yourself? I'm going to give you the answers in 3, 2, 1. 7 quarters equals 1 hole and 3 quarters. 8 thirds equals 2 holes and 2 thirds. 16 fifths equals 3 holes and 1 fifth. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!